Well, in other news tonight, two people were shot in Avon this afternoon. They're both expected to survive the incident. But it has completely shaken up members of that community. Danielle Zalkowski joins us now with details and reaction. Danielle. Well, police have confirmed the two victims were a grandmother and a granddaughter. And yes, they are expected to live. The man charged in this shooting was also related to them. Neighbors were shocked and said they never expected something like this to happen to them down the street. This is a really quiet neighborhood. Um, you get the occasional, you know, teenagers who are around at night doing their teenage things, but it's it's nothing big. It's a very safe neighborhood. Everyone talks to each other. We know each other's kids, and it's it's disconcerting, especially because my, my son is friends with the kids that live here. Police arrested 25-year-old Brandon Clark on a charge of criminal recklessness with a deadly weapon. Authorities believe he was mishandling the gun in some way, but did not share exactly how the shooting happened. We do believe this incident was an unintentional shooting. Uh, criminal uh, recklessness with a deadly weapon uh, is a, certainly a very serious offense here in Hendricks County, one that we take very seriously, and we're talking about the safety of others and particularly children. All three of the people involved lived in the home. The four-year-old granddaughter required surgery while the grandma was treated and released. The ongoing issue becomes the safety of firearms in homes. And, you know, my, my opinion is that over 99 percent of people are very responsible gun owners. Uh, this is a very uh, unique situation. It's hard. Um, my wife and I are actually foster parents, so it's when it comes to kids, it's very difficult for us to see things like this. We try not to pry and kind of try to stay to ourselves, mind our own business, but it's difficult when there's kids involved. Police are still piecing together exactly how this shooting happened. In the newsroom, Danielle Zolkowski, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.